And we have... Return. Welcome back to the stream, everybody. That was Lost Painting from Castlevania. I'll have it in a minute there. It's the really famous one. The one that... Symphony of the Night! That's the one! <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to remember that. I streamed that game, for God's sake. Anyway. But yeah. Uh, that's specifically the rearranged version of it from Smash Brothers, because, I don't know, I just like playing songs from that soundtrack. But yes! Weirdly enough, here we are, it's a weekday, and I'm streaming, go figure. Um, I have a couple hours to rub together, so I may as well uh, try to get through Axiom Verge, or at least a little bit through Axiom Verge. And not play more Kenshi, because that's what I was probably going to do. I've actually played quite a bit of Kenshi off-stream to the point where I was like, you know, I... Uh, like last time I played it, I said, it's like, I'm gonna play a little bit of it off-stream with the particular save file I had going. Because it's like, yeah, there's a lot of building and resource gathering and researching and all that jazz, and that's not terribly interesting. But I got to a point where I can start doing more interesting things while streaming it, but I was like, I really want to play more Kenshi, though. But I don't have time to stream it. So I started a new game. I started a new game in Kenshi with a completely different character and a completely different start, and I've played that incessantly for the past few days. It would have been really entertaining to stream that, though, because a lot of zany shit happened. I'm not going to get into it now. I might discuss it when I stream Kenshi next, which might be over the weekend. <laughs> Judging by the forecast, I may or may not be snowed in this weekend, because we're supposed to get close on to two feet of snow by Sunday. This is after we had a pile of snow on Monday. Cool. Cool. As long as it's not like a few years ago where the entire city had to shut down for a week while they dealt with the absurd amount of snow that we had. Because it was snowing non-stop for like three days. Which I've been hearing the worst case scenario for what we're going to get. <laughs> it's going to snow non-stop from Saturday evening straight on to Tuesday morning, so... We'll see what happens. Anyway, that's enough of the weather. Let's dive back into, um, oh, I do have one other thing to say, though. The re Part of the reason why I didn't stream this weekend is because we completely rearranged, well, not rearranged, but we cleaned out the apartment and uh, put up some new bookcases and did actually kind of rearrange some of the furniture. So uh, the background looks a little different for the first time in years, and that's just because we moved around some of the cases. Specifically, the case that has all of our video games is back there. And the bookcase that has my shitload of comics. Um, yeah, th this might change a little bit, but, you know, whatever. It's not very often I have the camera up for a full stream anyway, so it's not like it's going to make too big of a difference. But uh, that's enough of my ramble about that. Let's actually do some of the thing. Do some of the thing, yes. <sighs> Apparently part of that thing isn't going to yawn. So, it's been a while since I've played Axiom Verge, and, um, yeah, I, the smart thing would have been to, oops, I need to do another thing here for a minute. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right, anyway, as I was saying, the smart thing to do would have been to... Um, the smart thing to do would have been to look up what I did last by looking at the previous stream. Didn't do that. And I haven't played this in a month. So yeah. I don't have a lot of time to stream. I'm probably going to be spending most of it trying to figure out where the hell I am and what am I doing. And re-familiarizing myself with the controls. Oh, I completely forgot that this game actually has a reminder thing that it could have you do, too, so... Okay, so I have a reflector shot, and... Oh yeah, the grapple. The grapple is the, the, the thing that I have now. I have to use B. Okay, good. Uh, that, that, that's the thing that helps me get to new places. So 
so yeah, I think I got the grapple last time I played this, and I got to this area and then stopped, I believe. I didn't go any further than this. I feel like it should go without saying, but um, I'm gonna say it anyway. I'm not planning on... 100% completing this game. I, I do not, I do not have the time to do that, unfortunately. I have so many other things I need to get to, so... We'll see how this goes. For some reason, I thought I would have been able to get over there. Alright, um... I mean, yeah, there's a few different areas it looks like I might have access to now, so let's backtrack. The wonders of, uh... <clears throat> uh yeah, let's just go back to the Axum Disruptor. But yes, the wonders of your standard Metroidvania, you have to backtrack so goddamn much. Uh, okay, yeah, I kind of went the wrong way. sure I complained about this before, but um, the one thing I do kind of wish about this game is if they had a fast travel system like certain other Metroidvanias do, like the whole waypoint thing. But uh, it doesn't look like you got that here. Ah, hello Rolls, welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. There's something over here I didn't get to before. At the moment, it's looking like... no. Though I did fill out that section of the map, so yay for completion's sake, I guess. Yeah, there's a spot a bit further down that I might be able to get something else at. Let's go have a look. If not, then I can just backtrack completely to another area. Or go to another area, I should say. Oh, that's one of my friendly... <laughs> that's one of my friend drones. Not gonna worry about him. Okay, yeah, let's go down to that corridor just below me before I check out some of these new areas. Kaboom! Oh yeah, these guys. These guys and their incredibly loud laser noises.
Wait, I think I've already been over it. Yes, I've already checked that out, though, because the grappling hook is how I get over to it, I think. the drone again. I think it's Y, isn't it? Yeah. Legit don't think there's anything over there. I think I've already tried this. So, uh, yeah, let's just go to one of the new areas. And well, I was going to go to the one above, but I'm right here at this one. Although, actually, no, I think that was the scary place. Let's, let's go up here. Which is probably also scary. Wait, no, this was the real scary place. What am I talking about? Oh yeah! Frightening! And I'm gonna be all the way back up top again, aren't I? Yep. This is why you always hit up the save rooms. Cause now I gotta go all the way back down. Okay, I'm going to ignore that area and go somewhere else instead for now. faster way down. And it brings us to another save room, which I can use to, you know, not have to backtrack too much. And give myself precious, precious healing. Because if there's one thing I'm terrible at, it's staying alive, apparently? It's an important skill to have, and apparently I don't have it. So that place is the scary, dangerous place with the flying razor plant that wants to murder me. So let's not go there. Let's go down here instead. Mm. 
This may also be a scary place that doesn't want me here, but we'll see. Well, but I think I can get through now because I've got my thingamabob. Maybe. Yay! Couldn't do this before. Oh, hello, giant head. Who are you? I hope you're friendly. Presumably, yes. Presumably, you are friendly. That looks important. How do I get to it? appreciate that there's a save room. That doesn't really explain to me how I get up there. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Well, like I said. I'm not overly concerned if I get everything in this game, so I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that. Now, does the friendly giant head lead me over this way? It does! Friendly giant head looks a little bit like a novelist show, if I'm being honest. It's nice that that's there, because otherwise this just looks like a giant, um, corridor to nothing. Nothing I can really do here, it seems. Unless there's something up here. And it would appear there is not. Actually, no. Let's, um... I jump in this? I can. And after all this time, this is when I discovered this game has an oxygen meter. I had no idea. Didn't even know drowning was an option. I think I broke it. <laughs> Whoops. This looks familiar, though. Um, okay, yeah, I think this is actually just gonna lead me back to an area I've already been in. Which is good, because I want to get back here. Secrets. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. And now I will never know. Oh, oh wait! There we go! Aha! Journal page. I've hidden some of our more sensitive items in the breach pockets appearing here and there. The Rasalki won't go in, which interferes with her electronics. Oh. 
Groovy. I don't know who that means. I don't know who's doing this, Who's who wrote that, but... Groovy, all the same. Oh god, I think this is the very first area. Okay, we got a couple of places I haven't been to yet, so let's check them out. I was wondering what stopped me from going all the way over there, but I think this was too high to jump. Now I don't need to jump. So I have this! Let's go... where do I want to go? Uh... That top corner is bugging me. There might not be anything there, but let's go check it out and see if there's, uh... anything up there that that's worth investigating. Okay, that's still too strong for my current level of disruption, it seems. Go save it just in case something decides to flat out murder me while I'm over here. I do not want to make this trick again. Let's see if there was something over here too that I didn't have access to before. I don't think so, but hey, you never know. Aha! I don't think I've been up there. This thing? Oh, this 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 thing is not good. That's what that thing is. Run little thing, run. question is, how can I get over there? The answer is I probably can't. So I might need to come back later. Thing is nasty. Don't like that.
Doesn't really look like I can go much further this way, though. Unless there's something I'm missing. And there may very well be. Okay, it's good to know this is over here, though. Um, it's entirely possible I might get an upgrade or something that allows me to phase through thicker walls or something. go save it again just in case and then head back up to the top to see if there's anything up there. If not, we'll check out one of these old uh, passageways I couldn't get through. And, maybe, <laughs> and then maybe we'll figure out what the hell's going on because I still don't really know what the whole story with this game is. Some guy called Athetos maybe fucked up the place, but now I'm beginning to wonder if the Rosalki are on the level. Because those are the giant machine things that are supposedly helping me. But maybe they have their own agenda. Most things do. So I guess we'll see. There's a door over there I wasn't able to get through either at some point for some reason. I just decide not to come this way before, or can I legitimately not? Okay, I think, yeah, I see what the problem was. I couldn't clear that jump, but now I have this! So that's no longer a problem. Oh god! It's got frickin' laser beams! There's something somewhere that allows me to uh, clear that out, but I guess we'll see. There's gotta be some purpose to this room. It can't just be a dead end with a few enemies on it. Hello. Well, that's groovy, but I don't know what that does. <laughs> Surely there must be some purpose to it, yeah? Maybe now that that's phased in, it connects to something else and... Something? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just don't know. Well, let's head in here and see if something's changed. I doubt it, but... Alright, so... There was more over here than I originally thought. I just don't 
quite know what I'm supposed to do with it yet, so, alright. Throw out this corridor of weird green goobers and carry on. See what was over here that I missed last time. So it was up this way. That's why I couldn't go up there. My disruptor mabob is still not strong enough for it. Well, okay, let's check out those uh, two areas down below. Again, swinging by the save room, just so... Oh, well, I can't really swing by that save room, can I? I, I? I could, but... I like to live dangerously. See how long it takes for me to regret that decision. That's why I couldn't get through there. It would appear that is no longer a problem. Now we're in Ukana! What do we have going on in Ukana? Not a whole hell of a lot so far, it seems. Is that a robot? Oh good, I made it taller. <laughs> oh actually, oh good, I made it taller. This game does have one hell of an interesting soundtrack, if nothing else will give it that. Although I'll give it a bit more than that, because it is actually a fairly, fairly entertaining game. It does control really well, I'll say, what? What the hell? Elsa Nova, did you see that? Sorry, no. What did you see? There was a man who looked just like me, standing over there, then he ran away. Very strange. I did not see this. I'm going after him. Keep your eyes open, or whatever it is you do. Yeah, that was jarring. <laughs> We're gonna get into some real weird, timey-wimey 
multiple dimension bullshittery now, or what's happening? Well, can't go that way. I believe I've said this before. Can I not? Okay, there we go. I believe I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. I can guarantee you that the supposed villain of this game, Athetos, is an alternate version of me, or something to that effect. There it goes again. Hey you! Stop! Trace, there is nothing. He was right there! Trace, I think you must find Ophelia soon. Please, tell me if you see more strange things. You mean that totally unironically, am I right? <laughs> I've been seeing nothing but strange things ever since I got here, robot lady. You included... Pretty hot in this place. Can I? Okay, I was gonna say, Jesus, can I actually kill that thing? For a minute I thought I was slowly losing health, but I think I'm I think I'm okay. Well that's odd. But there's just a door that lets out there for no reason. is probably the best way to handle that. <sighs> Elsa Nova, something's wrong. I don't feel well. I was afraid of this. Athetosis pathogen is starting to affect you. But I think Ophelia is near. She can fix. Just try to keep calm. <sighs> Thanks, Athetos. I mean, Elsa, Elsa Nova. Sorry, I think I'll just shut up and keep moving. This shit looks oddly organic. Disturbingly so, even. But then there's a lot of stuff I've come across that looks oddly, disturbingly organic. What is that? Well, it's about time. Oh, uh, sorry, are you Ophelia? There's no such thing as Ophelia. If there isn't, how did you even know what I was talking about? You know the answer to that. Do I? Because you're a hallucination, right? That pathogen is making me see things? Ah, crap, I better get moving. Trace and his awesome sideburns. I haven't actually mentioned his awesome sideburns yet this stream, so... Oh, I can't use the, um... For some reason, I can't use the, uh, drone. What is that? 
I, I do not like, I do not like these weird faces in the walls. There's so many of them, and they're all bug-eyed. I'm beginning to wonder if these are real or just all hallucinations. like that. Let's see if I can get rid of that one. Woohoo! <laughs> All the health! All for me! All for Trace! Crap. Less. Less for Trace. Yeah, no, I should have. Ah! <laughs> you. <sighs> All this bullshittery is. I, I don't like it. I don't like any of it. And there's another random door that leads nowhere, it seems. And now I'm getting attacked by sperm? I... I suppose. <laughs> I don't doubt there's a lot of symbolism going on here. I'm just too stupid to figure out what it is. Hello? <laughs> Goodbye. Ow. Are you friendly? I doubt you're friendly. Yeah, that's not friendly. And then we have a bunch of grabby hits. Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Oh no! How far ago? How long ago did I save it? A while ago. Oh. This climb is one hell of a gauntlet that is going to be a problem. I foresee it being a problem. So really, it seems like taking out most things I can along the way is going to be the best way to handle this so I can get some health back. Of course I <laughs> should have just kept running then. Yeah, this isn't going right. There's another door that's just kind of stuck in nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna run by this guy. Hopefully I should get some health back from these things. I just got 
and play it smart. It's not my strong suit, I know, but... attempt to jump over there and kill the thing, but... Crap. I can't angle myself in such a manner I can hit it, so I lost health for no reason. Groovy. Although I can just hang out here and kill the demon sperm until I get all my health back. Yeah. There we go. Probably what that area is for, really. Get rid of the grabby hands. I don't like that. That's vaguely satanic looking. I didn't realize I was playing Doom. Okay, the right. Y yes yeah, okay. Blue is save room, red is boss fight. And, and now I'm just remembering. It seems to be a trend in these games that every time I stream it, I stream it, or in this game, every time I stream it, I inevitably fight at least one boss and have to fight the thing five times until I figure out the best way to kill it. I'm assuming this trend is going to continue. Wait, is that me? <laughs> Crap, I'm trapped! Trace, please just stay put. I've made contact with Ophelia. Elsa Nova, that man, from before, he's here. Demon. Wait, I'm no demon. Am I? Demon, Athatos say, kill. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Wait, what? What the fuck is happening? I I'm I, I'm the boss. I am controlling the boss. Just happens. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if I had killed myself just then. Uh, where am I? Safe. This is the trauma ward. Everything hurts. How bad is it? This may be hard to accept, but your injuries were severe. You will neither walk nor see ever again. I remember now. Well, I'd assume this was all connected to the lab explosion. In fact, that was just an unrelated accident. A frozen pressure valve, of all things. Boom. How could I have forgotten? I'd survived the blast and awoken, and for months was locked in darkness. I was broken, not just blind, but crippled. But as I lay there helpless, thinking, 
I had an epiphany. An idea that would become a scientific breakthrough. I worked with Dr. Hammond, who had recovered completely. Okay, that's the other guy. Together, we published a new theory of everything. Alright. It was a rewriting of physics. The media got wind and loved it. But the physics community decried it as pseudoscience. I was blacklisted and given a nickname. Athetos! Without place! I knew it! I fucking knew it! I'm Athetos! All along! That's where the memories end. Over a year of my life, completely forgotten. And somehow I'm him, Athetos. Elsa Nova knows this, but she thinks that I don't. The screen's giving me a lot of Earthbound vibes. Ophelia, I presume. Finally. So I'm still... here. I've cleared out the Bioflux. Your nanogates should take care of the rest. Trace, this is Ophelia. It is she who brought you to Sudra. Okay, Ophelia, why exactly would you do that? Several reasons, but mainly because you, like Athetos, are a patermind. It means only you could survive Athetos' pathogen. It also makes you the only person capable of using Athetos' weapons, like that gun. In short, you were the only chance we had to defeat him. So what makes Athetos and I pattern minds? Something that we were born with, or something that happened? To be honest, we don't know. Within the Breach, there are many worlds. Athetos came from one, so that's where we started. I entered the Breach, where I learned about pattern minds, special individuals who can manipulate reality at will. Using a special device called a scry, we searched for another pattern mind that could stop him. We found only you on your world, Earth, and extracted you. We know for sure that you're a pattern mind, but not why. We were hoping you could tell us that. Nope. I'm pretty normal, and I'm fairly confident that there's no secret magic going on in my DNA or anything, except for the fact that I'm this guy Athetos you want me to kill. But I'm keeping that to myself. Every man has to have their secrets. Are you sure you're not leaving something out? We are sure. Regardless, you are doing well. Breach Attractor and Athetos are in elevator above us. Destroy it, and we can take care of the rest. But getting inside may take some time yet. And then? You are done. We send you back home. Okay, looks like I'm off to see the wizard then. Okay. This game is so weird. So weird, and I do not understand. Oh good, save room. I might need that. I don't want to go through all of whatever the fuck that was again. Hot ah, damn, thingy! I like being healthier. Not dying is great. What 
just hurt me? Oh, that thing. <clears throat> I can't pick out a goddamn thing. I do not speak your lingo. So I can't hurt these weird vine things at all? Sworn there'd be something over there, but I guess not. Yep. Ah, hello again, Rolls. Hopefully, you're having a lovely day. And your trip to the store was successful for whatever it was you were looking for. Let's explore this area fully first, if I can. I can! Maybe. I cannot, it seems. Well, all right then. Hello, thing. I assume you're friendly. Oh, the boss room was here. At least what I thought was the boss room, except it's not. Oh, well, looks like I need to backtrack a ways. Be nice if they gave me some direction as to where the hell I was supposed to go, but, you know, maybe, maybe that's asking for too much. But now that I'm not tripping balls, I can go explore the rest of this area and see if there's anything different about it. You know. The whole shebang, shall we say. Oh great, we have deadly robots. I think I would have preferred the hallucinations, if I'm being honest. Whoa! What the fuck was that? What am I supposed to do about that? Jeez, I- what? No! Okay, at the very least these things are something I'm more familiar with. And something I can deal with. Yeah, that that that's super weird. You would assume that I'd be able to get in there somehow. You got everything you needed. Gatorade, Pepsi, candy, and pudding. Oh yeah, so you got all the staples. Honestly, I don't know wh what else you would want. I think I should just run. Let's just run. Oh god. Oh, nope. 
I, I think I should die. Let's let's just die. Run away! <laughs> oh, don't crouch for God's sake. Okay, there's a save room just below me. If I can get there. Oh, you motherfucker. You would. Okay, good. Okay, so am I certain there's nowhere I can go this way? Like, am I gonna have to backtrack completely? I might. I, it, it looks like I might. Cool. That's fan friggin' tastic, that is. Yeah, overall I'm enjoying this game, but if, um, I do have one... No. No, I can't go- wait, what? No! <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Well, this actually feeds into the point I was just about to make. If I do have one complaint about it, is that I feel very directionless most of the time. It doesn't really tell you where you're supposed to go. And I mean, I get it, you know, there, 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 there is a degree of um, exploration involved and required in a game like this, but it's just... I'd like it if it gave me something to go on, you know? So presumably, there's something in that big room I need to- or like one of those doors that looks like I can't go through, I should be able to go to. Wait, was there something I missed here? No. Looks like there's something I missed, because why is that over there? Doesn't it seem super weird that there's an enemy just stuck over there? Must be something up here I'm missing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the short range thing actually seems like the best thing I can use against these mechanical monstrosities. That way I can uh, spend more time dodging their shots. Okay, so th there, there's got to be something I missed. Come on, you thing. There we go. I couldn't come up here earlier, because the hallucinations I was having just made it look like... Yeah. Made it look like there was no way through, is what I'm trying to say. What's 
that? A fancy new coat. Trench coat. Double tap to teleport in any direction. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I have a new coat. There we go. Oh, and I can go through double walls now too. Okay, all right, all right. That opens up so many more possibilities now. You know, weirdly something this reminds me of is actually an indie game from years ago that I loved. Um. I should stream it sometime, because it's been years since I played it. Gunpoint, it's called. Because the, the main character is like a private eye who wears a coat much like that, except he's got something called bullfrog pants, so the crux of the game is that you can jump like a son of a bitch. And it's a really odd and funny game, and I, I don't know, I had a lot of fun. It was one of the first games I got on Steam, I think at the very least one of the first proper indie games I got on Steam that I thoroughly enjoyed. So I don't know, maybe I'll break that one out again sometime and play it. It was fun times. That same developer made something else that I really enjoyed years later, too, but I can't remember what it was. I'll have to look it up after I'm done streaming. Yeah, I don't like those things. <laughs> I don't like them at all. Here's some point. Son of a bitch. The problem with this is I probably have so many abilities that I can go back and check previous areas of the map now, but I completely forget what's in everything else. Every everywhere else here. And that's, you know, the problem when you play a game only one month at a time, as I seem to be doing with this game. Because I think it was about a month ago that I played this last. Now I can probably go down there. Um, I don't know if I want to just yet. Screw it, let's do it. Okay, I, I can't go through that. Never mind. too high. Okay, I'm probably meant to use this ability down there then. But, uh... Let's go over here instead. I also probably need to go all the way back to the bottom again. However, it appears there's more going on here, so... There we go. Again, it'd be great if I could read that. I can't, though, so let's just mosey along.
I got maybe, I don't know, 20 more minutes I think I can stream, so uh, see if we can at the very least make a bit more progress here. Do a bit more save scumming in case I get horribly murdered. So where does this take me? Oh, it takes me in the horrible place! like a really big version of some of the creatures I've already fought. I'm doing a lot of inadvertent teleporting, I've noticed. Soon I'm going to be doing a lot of in inadvertent death, probably. Well, fuck me, I guess. I'm not good enough to kill? What's wrong with it? I'm plenty good to kill. Come on. I do not like that those things can apparently go through the goddamn walls, and then it's hard to see where they are. You know, I did notice it before, but the weird tinnitus effect, <laughs> um, that only happens when you're close to a glitch wall. Interesting, that. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> I didn't even see it. Okay, we're, we're not going over there again. We're, we're gonna go down. <laughs> I've learned to fear. With, with... Complete and utter terror, the central part of the map. It, it, I don't like it. It's scary. You look away for one moment and then bam, there it is. Okay, this leads me back down here. I think I can get over there now, too, with this ability. 
Uh, honestly, there's a few places I could probably get to with the abilities I have now, but... Yeah, especially something over in the first area. I'm gonna go back there. Um, not right now, but... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Right now. Crap. Make sure my giant head friend goes in the right direction. Weird Nautilus shell looking motherfucker. Because I clearly need all the help I can get. point of this this spot is so I think I'm just going to ignore that all right so there's a spot below me and there's a couple of spots above me well on the top right there where there's clearly a door that's a glitch wall I can't get through yet These other places I think I can do something with. Yes, I think. Well, I didn't even try to check this place out. I think I've been back this way since I even got the grappling hook, so... Crap! <laughs> It's real easy to accidentally activate the teleport thingamabob. Yeah, see? I just keep doing it. It's gonna make it real fun when I get into an our boss fight. Like, panically... <laughs> in a panic, double-tapping the directional pad, and then... All of a sudden, bam, I probably teleport right into the goddamn boss. But we'll see. Baked. Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Oh, what did I do to that thing? You just see that thing spin? I destroyed it before I can truly appreciate it, but, you know. It was some cool shit.
Oh yeah, I was gonna say wait. That's just an, a, a blank room, but no, there's there's a false wall. I remember now. So this way first. thick of a wall, I can't go through that. This wall, however. Also too thick of a wall. Huh. Okay, clearly there must be some other mode of traversal that I can do later. Because I would have assumed I'd be able to get through this now, but I guess not. Then this is this. Also something I can't deal with yet. So... Maybe topside? Thought there was something over there I could deal with. test something. Okay, I came back too fast. The enemies didn't spawn. Eh, I'm not gonna bother. I, I wanted to see if I can get one of these weird crawly dudes to spin like I did last time. Uh, anyway, let's, let's go see if I can actually get up here. See what I can do here. There we go. Hey, no, there's there's nowhere over here I can actually go yet. Meaning I'm better off going back the way I came. All right. Well, let's try to explore new territory for a little bit and uh, maybe at least get to the next save room and um, the next new save room, I should say. And uh, that's probably all I'm going to have time for tonight, but we'll see. Pretty sure it's this one. Well, no, I know it's this one. I mean, I think it's the first. Maybe 
maybe it's not this one, but let's go there anyway. No, it's not this one. But hey, it's not going to hurt to explore a previous area. This reminds you a bit of Contra and Contra 2. You know, it, it kind of has similar vibes, weirdly. Like, it's more of a Metroidvania than that, obviously, but it, it's still... It's still very much Contra-like in its ways. And... God, there's a game I should try to play again. Um, me and my brother used to play, I think it was Contra 4 for the Super Nintendo a lot. He did a lot of the heavy lifting in those play sessions, I will say. I was not very old, I was probably like six. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, I can't remember when Contra 4 came out. I can't even remember if it was Contra 4. It, it, it was whatever... It was whatever Contra came out on the SNES. But anyway, it's one of those games that's really enjoyable to play, even if you're not good at it. I don't know, it's just very well put together. As difficult as this game can get, it's still much more forgiving than Contra. I should be able to get through here. Um, let's save it though, just in case. And like I said, I'll explore a new area until I find a, another save room, maybe, and I think that might have to be it for tonight. Because I still have to work in the morning, so, you know. Gotta make video game money somehow, right? That's all I'm using my money for, certainly. Sure, I'm getting a lot of stuff I can't read. Oh no, this brings me to the hell zone. At least it's the opposite end of the hell zone. It's not even marked on the map. And I don't know how to get over there. <laughs> That's, that pesky work thing, you swear you're only going to put up with it for 30, 40 more years max, and then you're done with it. I feel like that's reasonable. You're you're giving it enough time. Surely. It's all the chances I give. Oh no, slinkies! Everyone loves a slinky. Everyone loves a slinky. At this point, you'll be working for two months after they put you in the ground. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> Axiom 1. A. All alg algorithms are universal and valid, regardless of whether they are executed. B. Cognition is a sub-algorithm whose behavior is to perceive properties of the parent algorithm describing it. C. 
Any algorithm giving rise to cognitive entities will be perceived as reality by the entities described. Okay. This axiom is from my paper, the one that earned me that nickname. That nickname being Athetos, because again, I am apparently the villain. Which I fucking called it. <laughs> That's... This horrid area is going to kill me again, this one. Fucking bats! I have a t the tiniest sliver of health. <laughs> I have a slightly larger sliver of health. That's nice. This better send me somewhere good. I don't know if you'd classify this as good, but it's somewhere. I'm sure glad I did that, that did nothing for me. Oh look, save room. Okay. It's like, what? Yeah, it's like quarter after 10 here now, so I, I gotta get a shower and get everything ready for work tomorrow. So I think that's going to have to do it for this for today. Oh, they, they let you save when you quit. I could have saved anywhere. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Well, we actually made some pretty decent progress. Oh, the achievement I got when I, um, when I thought myself was hallucination. Be defeated by yourself. Whew. Anyway, if you happen to stop by to watch, I thank you very much for doing so. And uh, hopefully you find folks to join me again next time, which I'm hoping I'll be able to stream for at least a little bit, uh, during the weekend. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's be honest, it's probably going to be more Kenshi because I have a problem. And, uh, yeah. But then again, I got a couple other things. Uh, because the Suicide Squad game is coming out on Friday, I am soon going to stream... Not that. Um, Arkham. I, mean, I never never did do the uh, Arkham City DLC. Uh, so I'll do that, and then eventually I'll go to Arkham Knight. Because, you know, as if I don't have enough things going on already. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm glad that you're uh, keeping up with the whole... Uh, the, 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 the YouTube videos I'm posting, too, their rules. Um, yeah, I, I slacked off on that for a bit, and then I started updating it fairly regularly again, and then I slacked off again. Ironically, the next video that I'm going to post, I think, is the last time I streamed Axiom Verge. So, you know, I'm, I'm catching up, I'm catching up. Hopefully in the next couple of, well, no, tomorrow I've got stuff I need to do, but maybe Friday. Maybe Friday I'll be able to post some of the backlog of uh, streams. But yeah, anyway, like I said, if you happen to stop by to watch, I thank you very much for doing so. Hopefully you'll find folks to join me again next time, which will be, I'd say, at least Saturday. Yeah, I've got, I've got a few hours I can stream on Saturday. But until then, as always, I wish you a farewell, and I hope you have a great night. So long for now.